Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, okay, so today so we're gonna do something a little bit different. We all know that my C63 is horrendous on gas, being a big V8 twin turbo. We all know that gas prices are absolutely ridiculous, um, but we also know that this car has split personalities. It can be driven in a very monotone, quiet, comfort sort of mode where the valves are closed. We're not, you know, we're not using tons of gas. We're very quiet. Um, and docile it can also be used in the big race mode sport plus mode um, manual mode where we're really getting the revs up high and using tons and tons of gas so what i want to do i'm at a complete empty in terms of gas right now okay completely low on gas here you can take a look what i'd like to do is i want to do a little experiment i'm going to clear these values right now boom reset value yes absolutely nothing we're gonna head over to Wawa right now and we're gonna get some premium 91 octane, $90 to fill the tank. And we're gonna drive for the whole tank on comfort mode with the valves closed. There's valves open, there's closed. I don't think that the valves open or closed is gonna have a big, uh, big difference in terms of fuel efficiency. But my goal here is to see the difference between comfort mode um, you know fuel efficiency and then we're gonna fill it up again and we're gonna get into race mode for the whole time on the paddle shifters honing around and we're gonna really compare the differences and and see like if you drive this car the way it's supposed to be driven in crazy mode what kind of fuel efficiency are you getting if you drive the car in very relaxed sort of docile mode you know let's do a little comparison and see what 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 the complete difference is, is in in terms of fuel efficiency and cost okay so let's head over to wawa right now let's get this thing filled up and let's start the experiment comfort mode for the next two three four days who knows let's see how long it's gonna go it's gonna be real it's gonna be a bit of a challenge for me because i'm used to driving this car in in race mode but we'll see for the greater experiment here i'm okay to drive it in uh in comfort mode for the whole time okay so let's head over let's get this uh let's get this car filled up and start the experiment Here we are, here we are, let it begin. $70 and counting, we're putting in good 93 octane. Putting in the best stuff. All right, 87 bucks, full tank, 93. Gas prices might be coming down a little bit, 51.5, that's not bad. All right. All right, here we go. So we're gonna reset the values to zero. Bang, zero, and here we go. Full tank of gas, staying in comfort mode for the whole time. I'm gonna leave the exhaust. I'm gonna leave the exhaust off just for the sake of this exercise. And let's see, maybe I'll be back here in, I'm gonna say three days. I'm gonna say three days, I'm hoping it's four days. When I'm driving it in, in race mode, I'm getting nine miles per gallon. I'm hoping for, in comfort mode, I'm hoping for 20 miles per gallon. I'm hoping for that. So let's uh, let's see. I'd just like to add another little note that while we're on comfort mode, that there's a start stop feature right here that we're gonna be using the whole time. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up, but that's gonna definitely play into Hopefully you can see that. That's definitely going to play into fuel efficiency. Um, another little, another little perk of the comfort mode of this, this sort of again. I call it the Doctor Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde kind of split personality. This thing can be an absolute beast, or what we're doing right now with it, just trying to be very docile, trying to be energy conserving, and trying to see how 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 good for the environment this car can possibly be in, in times like this and in, in dire needs where the gas prices are astro astronomical. So let's see, let the, let the experiment continue. So just a little update, it's been like four days and the gas gauge has just now come on. Still rolling in comfort mode, still rolling with the exhaust on. This has been on and off, I've taken that off. But um, we've gotten some serious fuel economy. Stay tuned, almost through the tank.
All right, guys, welcome back. It's been about four days of agony. It's been really difficult driving this car in comfort mode. You know, stop, stop, start has been on the majority of the time. Uh, I kept, I kept this beautiful button on for the exhaust, but stop, start has been on. I wanted to drive the car in as efficient mode as possible. So I've had comfort mode on. This is the first time I'm turning it to Sport, Sport Plus. Race mode's gonna be now, uh, but I've had that on. I've had all the suspension, everything, driving dynamics, everything in comfort mode. Um, and so let's take a look. Okay, this is unbelievable, these stats, compared to what I've been doing. So I've gotten 209 miles out of the out of the tank, drove about almost 10 hours, and I'm getting just over 14 miles per gallon at an average speed of 22 miles. That's been a little bit higher. That was almost, that was pushing almost 15 miles per gallon uh, in the last sort of day, but, I've just been getting a little bit on it, even comfort mode, I've been putting my foot down a little bit. It's hard to drive this car slow. And so this last five, four or five days, although it's been amazing, um, you know, to know that this car has got split personality and that, you know, if I want to drive it and save money on gas, you know, I can get, look at, the, look at these numbers, 200 miles, you know, 209 miles per 90 bucks, cost me 85 bucks to fill it out. And we're basically right down we're basically dead on gas. I drove it right down. So this is max what I'm gonna get out of it. I actually didn't start this reset till a day later. So I probably would have gotten probably, let's say 215 miles. Um, so pretty, pretty remarkable. This car is pretty remarkable. Um, so we're at the gas station. We're at the Sunoco here. Okay, time to fill up. What are we looking at in terms of prices? We're looking at for 93, we're looking at 5.3. So that's gonna cost me probably a nice 90 bucks again. But this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive it in the most aggressive mode. Okay, so if this would ever, there we go. We're gonna drive it in, not sport, not sport plus, but race mode with manual transmission on the majority of the time. No more stop, start, no more of this, this nonsense. We're gonna go from driving the car as soft and as easy as we could last week to now the comparison of driving it as hard as we can. And I'm telling you, I've been driving this car since I got it as hard as I can. These numbers that we're getting here on this comfort mode are startling compared to what we're gonna get in race mode. So let's uh, let's get this, uh, this, this baby filled up again. And uh, I think the next, I wanna say it's gonna be like a day and a half, two days of driving this thing around. And then I'll be back with my final thoughts and we'll conclude the video, okay? Let's get after it. What do you guys think it's gonna cost? I'm gonna say 90 bucks, 85, 90 bucks. Let's take a look. Slow down, baby, slow down. And she's still going, still going. 14 gallon tank. I'm, I'm actually curious. I don't know how, how big the, the tank is. I don't know, say 20 gallons maybe? Let's take a look. I think we're getting there. 15 gallons, 16 gallons. All right, so it's a 17 gallon it's basically a 17 gallon tank. All right, so we're looking at 88 bucks. All right, let's get after it. Time to wreak, wreak hell. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna reset the dials. Boom. Resetting our values, bang. And we're good to go. I don't know why it's showing 2.3 miles per gallon, but that's it's probably estimating. It's probably guessing what I'm gonna get in the next two days. All right, let's go. to the channel it's been literally let me just shut this off it's been literally a day and a half not even it's been like a day um, and we're through the tank of gas so we're gonna start it up I'm gonna show you the most startling stat right now is unbelievable so let's start it up 
and we're gonna take a look at how much gas I used in how short of a period of time. So I've done 133 miles and I've averaged 8.8 .8 miles per gallon. So I'm a battery die, I think I'm in trouble. I feel like if you're buying a car like this, you don't, you're not thinking about fuel efficiency, but you can. You can, you can drive this car very docile, very calm, or flip of a switch, you can drive it crazy and get a 8.8 .8 miles per gallon. So that's the, the study, the, you know, the, the numbers don't lie, it's basically in. Uh, I think it's extremely overwhelming, um, you know, what we can do in this car, how much fun we can have, uh, but for a price, right? Uh, so guys, I hope you got something out of this video. Um, you know, if you enjoyed it, if you got something out of the video, hit the like button, it took me like, a week and a what call it five six days to do this video um and what was worse is it took me five days of driving the car in comfort mode so that was a bit of a, a lackluster sort of thing uh, so yeah hit the subscribe button hit the like button if you enjoyed the video if you got something out of it and um i'll hope to see you guys in the next video i'm heading down right now to an amg uh meetup um and that's going to be the next video we're going to um have a little bit of fun with some cla 45s and a couple other uh badass amg whips so again hit that like button if you got some out of this video feel free to comment um you know what kind of mileage are you getting in your amgs or your m cars or your rs cars i'd love to know what kind of mileage you're getting in your vehicles and what kind of heavy foot do you have is it as heavy as my my heavy foot or is it heavier um see you in the next video you guys